March the 3rd. There's Trey, way over there. This is that FAA tower that we're not supposed to get near. It's been a cloudy, cold morning. Four mile long up out of Standing Bear Hostel. Those are the Smoky Mountains over there, I do believe. Anyways, I didn't film much of that up because it was just long and me out of breath all the time. But we left Standing Bear around 6.30 and uh, that rooster, that rooster was cock a doodle doing all night long what's up with that but uh, just when you get used to the sounds of you know leaves moving in the night and people snoring around you then you get to listen to a like at three in the morning But, uh, yeah, that rooster. But no, Standing Bear Hostel. Good place. Really comfortable. And, uh, a good resupply coming out of the Smokies. After this, we got Hot Springs, which is, you know, either two, two and a half, three days away, depending on how fast you want to take it. greatest Wi-Fi there. I, the signal was so weak. I was trying to upload a 13 minute video and the best I ever got was 27% before on the upload before it just said uh-uh ain't doing it. So I know I'll get some some internet in hot springs because there's a, a library that you can go to get there and they say hikers welcome so next time I upload it'll probably be like five or six days worth of videos sorry about that I was really banking on that Wi-Fi at Standing Bear to get the second half of the Smokies uploaded. All right. From up here, we got about a mile to get to the first shelter we come to today, where I'm gonna stop and have some breakfast, get some more water. These clouds would roll out of here and might warm up a little bit. Whew, I said that and the wind started blowing. Okay, so we're gonna get down off the top of this thing. Met a real nice Canadian yesterday at Standard Bear. And you know, as much as me and my, uh, you know, internet community gaming friends joke about Canadians, in a good way of course, you know, tasteful jokes, most of the time. I never once heard her say, hey, so I may be 
completely wrong in my concept of how Canadians talk. But that's a discussion for another day. Oh yes, get me back in the trees, away from the wind. Because uh, I started off the day bundled up because it was cold. And I got going about a mile up that up about three and a half thousand feet elevation change over the course of four miles. And then I started taking off the layers. I'm like, ooh, I'm I'm too hot now. But then you get up to the top and wind starts blowing and you're like, and it's cold again. Okay, time to get moving. But our plans today are 20 miles. And I did not get started before sun up. And I started as the sun was coming up. But I had a little case of the bubble gut this morning that slowed me down getting out of standing bear. But I'm feeling better now. Yeah. Something like 20 today and then 10 to get us into uh, hot springs and stay the night there. But, uh, I told Trey, I said, Trey, we're being recommended to uh, spend the night on top of Max Patch to watch the sunset and watch the sunrise. And he said, okay. Because I mean, that had been like 14 miles in today, something like that. I'm standing there. And he's like, okay, well, let me check the weather. And he pulls up the weather for it tonight and says it's supposed to be like 19 to 22 degrees. And he says, uh, I think I want to stay in a shelter. So I said, okay. So we're going to try for 20. And it's supposed to be a good portion of uh, favorable terrain. So. Hopefully after I get some food in me, I can kind of pick up the pace. But that about wraps up this morning. Someone made a little bench. I'd probably like to sit down for a minute. But I'd have the hardest time trying to get back up off that little thing. So, got to the first shelter and uh, stopped there, ate some food, put some food in my pockets, and I'm gonna keep going. Uh, kind of got an idea rolling around in my head as a challenge to myself. It might be a bad idea, but I mean, it's an idea, and that's to go all the way to into hot springs tonight, or possibly morning. Uh, there's four shelters between. Standing Bear Hostel and 
Hot Springs. Hawk is going to get to the second shelter. Hawk is loud, snores, and plays the radio while he sleeps. So, me and Trey decided to do 20 miles. Let's get to the third shelter. Instead of like 14, 15 to get to the second. But, if I do 20, I'm going to be hiking into the dark. So I'm thinking, I'm hiking into the dark. Why don't I just keep on going? So, that's an idea rolling around in my head right now. It may change by the time I get up to the top of this mountain. <laughs> Stay tuned to find out. Whew. I just came from down there. Can't even see the trail. mountains over there and now we go down again we'll come up to we'll go down and then we we'll come up again just to go down again Wouldn't have it any other way. Okay. We came down this gap. The tent was set up. Gave me a Snickers bar and a soda. Trail magic. And back off again. I think. Going the wrong way. This ain't the trail. This is the trail. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna put a snicker bar in my hand and I'll just start climbing mountains. Ain't even the right way. Okay, so not cheating. Get back. Hit the trail. Do it the right way. Mountain Snickers bar. Yeah, on the phone with AT&T Techno Music. Waiting for them. Ah, uh, come on. So, uh, this will be a very interesting story later on. And it's kind of a mistake on my part. And, uh, I'll tell y'all about it so that y'all don't make the same mistake before y'all come out on y'all's through hike. If a representative would ever pick up the line. I've been standing next to that one little tree right there for the last almost 45 minutes. And I'm cold. You gotta keep moving when you're hiking on these mountains, otherwise you get cold. Okay, so what the problem was, was a uh, error on my part. It was. <clears throat> when uh, back September I went ahead and changed up my uh, plan I think it was September got an iPhone 6 and a limited data plan go phone thing uh, you got high speed data but then it once you use that it slows it down and I thought that slow data was still you know enough data no that slow data can't do you 
much of nothing. Uh, so, I'm gonna use my dad this coming month a little bit uh, more sparingly. Anyways, so, I set up a Go uh, Auto, an auto pay with the Go phone. Now, in January, before I left on the trail, they sent me a new bank card. So, it had a chip in it. I was like, yay, I finally got a chip bank card. Yay, awesome, let's activate it. Activated it February 1st, I'm on the trail. So, uh, my February data was used up on Go, uh, Go phone, and they tried to, uh, uh, you know, charge my card again. And guess what? Yep, that card was deactivated, and I never went back to AT&T or logged into, you know, gophone.com and resupplied them the information for the new card. So, life lesson, people. Uh, before you come out on the AT, if you have any auto payments, make make sure they're uh, they're straight. Make sure you don't, you know, do a bonehead move like I did and activate a new card. Uh, now I'm kind of wondering if my auto insurance is going to pull off that old card. Or if they just have my bank account information. I don't know. I'll find that information out when I get to Hot Springs tomorrow. But, anyways. Uh... Yeah, make sure all your accounts are in order and all your auto pay or direct payments are uh, straight before you come out on the trail. Because having to sit down on the side of a mountain and play ring around the hold music between AT&T and then your bank and then back to AT&T. Yeah, that was, that was 45 minutes to an hour that I could have been moving. But I didn't want to move from that spot because I actually had signal there. So, you know, I told my friends I wouldn't edit out my mistakes. So, so that they can make fun of me and so that anyone else could learn from them so I won't make that mistake again and I hope y'all don't either okay <sighs> it's cold it's chilly the winds blowing <sighs> Yeah, big log right there. Just missed it, but I was turning on the GoPro while stepping over it and almost, almost tripped over that big old log right there. So, yeah, anyways, uh, if I could describe this last week on the AT, which included the Smokies, in one word, I would have to say, Windy. Two words would be windy and awesome. And if I had to use three words to describe this last week on the AT, it'd be windy, awesome, and cold. So, yeah. Wind. We got it. Give it a break. Go somewhere else and knock people off the mountains. No, don't go knock people off the mountains, but go somewhere else. This is road 1182. And then probably up there is a uh, Max Patch Mall. So, oh. it's gonna be so windy and cold up there. I can't wait! Okay, so 
I come through the fence and you have to go this way. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Top of Max Batch. The trail control real hard. See that power pole right there? The AT came by it and went up and up and all the way across Max Patch. And then you slip and slide all the way down the back side of this mountain here. And then it comes out maybe 200 yards from where it started up Max Patch. So Good one, AT. Good one. Good one.